absolutely fantastic. I've come into the Westfield with the 35mm f1.2 and just at this Prada shop here you can see this really sick reflection through there so I'm going to shoot through through the lettering over this way and then hopefully catch the subject in the frame. I'm going to use manual focus to be able to get the focus. Oh that actually looks pretty sick. Okay, sick, right, we'll move on. There's also a shot here that I wanna get. If you come over here, if you've got a 12 mil, which I normally have a 12 mil, I'm gonna come back and do another video here because 12 mil here looks incredible. But you can also use a 35 mil and still get some really good shots. So I'm gonna wait for somebody to walk into the frame down there. Oh, while I'm waiting, there's a nice reflection shot there. That kind of works. You can kind of see like a, a bunch of reflections. Okay, so we've got somebody going down the escalator now. Just got to wait for them to walk into the frame. Put it back into autofocus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, hi guys. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sam, nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice to meet you. Sam, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. you're that POV guy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Where do I know you from? I think, I don't know. 35 mil. Gonna tap to focus on the dude in the cab nice and the lighting isn't too harsh today so there's not much shadows going on if the shadows do obviously pop up because of the harsh lighting then i'll try and get some uh, shots of that i'm gonna shoot that way actually because it's if i shoot this way there's less people and there's a guy coming on the on a bike Oh, that was last minute. I don't know if I got that. But I'll show you the shot I'm trying to get anyway. Okay, so this is one for all of the, uh, all of my London OGs. There's a, a London cab. Oh, this feels very nostalgic. Oh, sick. He's actually down for me to take a photo of him. I'm just going to quickly jump across the road. And see if there's a way that I can maybe use one of these. Oh, this is so... How can I use... I want to try and use one of these. Is it possible? I'm sure it's possible. Oh, yes. Okay, so there's a guy walking through the pass now, this dude. See if I can get a shot of him. Oh, that was very... Okay, so the shot on the screen is a shot of the dude that walked past, but the focus was wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull focus onto the pavement next to me. And then as the people walk past, I should be able to get a nice reflection shot. So, all right, let's move on. We'll keep going down, pushing. I don't know what, well, I don't know what street this is, but we're going to keep going down this street. Okay, so there's some, uh, there's some really nice light here. So if I can get some, I'll get a shot of some people walking into it. We'll go ISO 100. I think if I get down a bit and then put something in the foreground. Yeah, sick. So there's some nice lighting over here. And use this as like a leading line as they kind of walk into the frame. Even better that he's facing away from me. Oh, that's sick. All right, I'll take that. Happy with that. Actually, up here, there's a pretty cool shot where you can kind of look through the water feature down uh, to the like dining area below. And sometimes there's people sat down there and it looks pretty sick. Yeah, okay. So if we go manual focus, and we're gonna focus through the water on the people underneath. And then you get reflections of people walking past as well. Just wait for somebody to walk through the frame on the other side. I have a proof from oh, the ministry. Because yeah. it's a private property. Of course. The yeah, other yeah. way that they... We, so we where, do, where does the private property end? So we're, we're okay to... I know, it's, it's looking funny. But if you, if you go down outside another stairs, yeah, yeah. take a photo, it's a point. Okay, it's just, just up here. So the shot that I wanted to get was like the people that are sat down here 
as you can see, like they're sat on the bench and then the person walking through the frame. Sick. All right, we're gonna move on to the next location. Thank you, cheers guys. We'll move on to the, uh, the next location. Okay, so decent shot here of these lads walking towards me. See if they're a vibe or not. Sick. Nice and close and personal, they didn't really care too much. There's also these guys kind of smoking here, which might look quite good. Like... So there's a shot over here with this kind of like nice lighting. So if I can kind of jump up a bit and just capture people going into that light there. How are your photos looking, Hayden? Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're heading down towards like circular key area. It's a pretty cool shot here. Dude. Yeah, so one point two, gonna wait for somebody to walk through the frame. I'm gonna shoot through this and then wait for The reflect, oh, the silhouettes like the shadows on the floor looks so good. Okay, so tram's just about to leave. Let's see if we can get a shot of the driver. It's probably gonna hate us. Well. As it goes through the frame, one and done, baby. There we go. Uh, do you want me to model? Yes, sir. There we go. Then. He's going to model. Fucking ad break. Okay, so we've moved up from Barangaroo here to Wynyard Station. Um, obviously, it's a location that I've shot quite a few times, but I've never actually shot it at night. So, there's a first for everything. Okay, so this is a location that I've shot before because you have this nice kind of reflection and it works really well, especially if you come over to like the left hand side and use that as a leading line. So just gonna wait for somebody to walk in the frame. It's okay, you're gonna be ages, so. You're gonna be waiting there a long time. Cause I'm waiting for somebody to walk through the frame. Thank you though. Okay, so the shot that I was going for there, I just wanted somebody to walk through the frame. Um, and the, the person that did walk through the frame was actually the person that was being polite, waiting for me to take the photo. Anyway, worked out, looks pretty good. Um, obviously I'm shooting these at f1.2 because it's night time you can open the aperture allow more light in it does obviously make the um, the focus very very specific so it, it is a little bit more difficult but it works and it looks good nonetheless and I'm enjoying using it we're just in Wynyard station I'm gonna get a shot of this dude on the uh, on the escalator tap to focus you get one like that just get a landscape shot I'm gonna to go towards the exit onto George Street because you can get like a nice reflection shot, which I haven't got before. And I was thinking I'd probably get it while I'm waiting because the boys are just currently getting, I don't know, some, <laughs> some shots over there. So I'm just gonna get a nice reflection shot here. Does this side work? I'll go this side, actually. Just wait for that person to come into frame. Six. Shout out to Hayden for letting me borrow the 35mm from Sigma, which was the f1.2. Everybody that was in this video is linked below. Also, all of the photos in today's video were edited in my presets. There's a link below. You get over 125 presets for a great price and it speeds up your workflow. We're going to have a look at the hashtag Optical Wonder to have a look at some of the content you're creating. And if you'd like to get featured on this channel, just use the hashtag Optical Wonder in the caption over on Instagram and you might get featured. Okay, we are on the hashtag Optical Wonder. We're going to go to the most recent and have a look at some of those on there. Uh, we'll go with this one. Very nice detail shot some cherry blossom. It is now in season in the Northern Hemisphere, if you weren't aware. Uh, this one, nice reflection shot. Love the colors as well. Um, nice street shot, very simplistic, but I like the color grading. I like the simplistic of it, and it's obviously telling a story. Um, going down a bit more, we've got this shot, which is obviously using something like a natural frame 
to frame the subject, which is really nice. Let's do the uh, signal. It's absolutely trash for some reason. We'll go with one more. Let's go with this one here. I like how you've uh, you framed that first shot. I like that a lot. And we'll just go to the top page as well and just have a quick look there. We have this one, nice shot. Um, and then we'll do one more and we'll go with this one here. I love the split tone, uh, the split like the split frame, really like that. If you do want to get featured, you can use the hashtag optical wonder, like I said so, and just throw in the caption over on Instagram. I'm currently in Melbourne, there'll be some videos coming from Melbourne soon, so subscribe, notification bell, all of that stuff.